Prabhupada. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances at your lotus feet, Maharaj. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and all our Guru Maharajas. Uh, Maharaj, today we are going to study from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 6, chapter number 3, verse number 30. Whenever you're ready, Maharaj, you can take the call. Yeah, before we, before we do that, um, I've been running with... I'm in, in, India, so I've been running. Just wondering how my voice sounds now. Is it clear? Maharaj, we can hear you, but your voice is, has was breaking, breaking a bit. Hmm. Let me Let me shut off my video, see if it's fun. Is that any better? Yes. Yes, Matt. Okay, because uh, I'm afraid we're going to run into some problems here. Uh, how about now? Can you hear me? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Yes, Maharaj. All of the devotees can you hear me. Yes, Maharaj. Hmm. Yeah, there's, there's some... Uh, there's some interference coming from your side. I can't hear clearly. Oh. You want to put this by the window? Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I begin? Mm -hmm. All right, Krishna. Please, Maharaj. Yes, we're ready for you. Okay, we have to respond by voice because this my internet is, is really unstable. Okay, we'll begin. Om Namo Bhagavate. Uh, so let me know if you lose my, my uh, contact or you lose my voice. Or becomes unclear. Mm -hmm. Okay, Maharaj, we'll do that. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Srimad Bhagavatam, six canto, prescribed duties for mankind, which is this is chapter 3, verse 30. Tatsyam yatam sagabhagavan purusham purano narayana swa purusha yara satvikam naha manam maho nam vidusam rachitam jalinam yantir garishi nama purushayam bhumne <coughs> Translation. Then Yamaraj, considering himself and his servants to be offender, offenders, spoke as follows. Begging pardon from the Lord. O oh, my Lord, my servants have surely committed a great offense by arresting a Vaishnava such as a Jamil. O Narayan, O supreme and oldest person, please forgive us because of our ignorance we failed to recognize the Jamil as a servant of your lordship. And thus we have certainly committed a great offense. Therefore, with folded hands, we beg your pardon. My lord, since you are supremely merciful and always full of good qualities, please pardon us. We offer our respectful obeisances unto you. Srila <laughs> Prabhupada's purport, Lord, 
Yamaraj took upon himself the responsibility of the offense committed by his servants. If the servants of an establishment, establishment makes an offense, a mistake, the establishment takes responsibility for it. Although Yamaraj is above offenses, his servants, practically with his permission, went to arrest a Jamil, which was a great offense. The Nayaya Shastras confirm Vrityapade Swamino Danda. If the servant makes the mistake, the master is punishable because he is responsible for the offense. Thus, taking this seriously, Yamaraj, along with his servants, prayed with folded hands to be excused by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Narayan. And Om again, Kimirandasya, Kinajana Savakaya, Chaksu Unnalitam Yenatas, my Shri, Ma Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasaya Bhutaya, Shimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Kinamaya. Namaste, Saraswati Deve, Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishne Sasunyavadi, Pasyatya De Sitarine, Panchakalpa Thuru Vishya, Bhupa Sindhu Pei Vajja, Pahita Nam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namaho Namaha, Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, the Advaita Gadahar, Srivasadi Gaur Bhaktivinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <laughs> so following the storyline, we ended a series of verses, which was instructions by Yamaraj, to his servants, the Yamadudas, and these instructions centered around the glories of devotional service and the, the uh, supreme position within devotional service is the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. Now, after making all of these philosophical explanations, my dear Lord, no doubt we commit an offense, a jamia, we're innocent. Our duty is to capture those who are sinful and punish them. We obviously made a great mistake in taking away a Vaishnava. Therefore, because you are all good and you are all merciful, please pardon us. And then he ends with obeisance. So here, the main point, which is being illustrated, is that if someone is in charge of people or a department, then um, that person is responsible for whatever happens with their workers, or with their uh, act, with their own uh, decrees, rules, restrictions, and this is very fundamental to the execution of devotional service. You know, as devotees, we are representing the supreme personality, Godhead, Shri Krishna. We are also representing Srila Prabhupada. We are also representing our spiritual master. We are also representing our temple that we are connected with. If we are working under the guise of temple authorities. So um, the devotees have to be very conscious that whatever we do or, or say is a reflection both on our society, our philosophy, and on the leaders within this society. So, yeah, um, 
Therefore, if some discretion takes place, even though the person is not directly involved, if he is in charge with that, then he also becomes responsible. Just like sometimes a spiritual master will give a service to a particular devotee. And that devotee will find someone else to do the service. And that other person either neglects the service or does the service incorrectly. And that person who's in between might say, well, I gave it to him to do and he didn't do it properly or he failed to do it. Uh, he's responsible. No, that is not correct. You are responsible. Because you have given this person a service that you may have, may should have done, or couldn't do for certain reasons. Therefore, whatever that person does, he's carrying it out on your behalf, and therefore you are responsible. You also get the credit if something is done nicely, but you also get the punishment that is due if someone digresses from the standard or fails to do it. So as devotees in our movement, we representing Srila Prabhupada. So if our behavior and activities are not up to standard, it's a reflection on our spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada particularly because he is known as the foundation for which everything goes on in this movement. So the body has to be very responsible in executing the devotional service, never negligent, and always following the standard by which the service should be carried out. Here, Ayamaraj gave the order and the Amadudas went. And uh, somehow or other, they were thwarted by the Vishnu Dudas. And then after that discussion ensued, they became bewildered and came back to Yamaraj and with an explanation. And now Yamaraj, in the last uh, eight verses, he's given that explanation. Now he's realized he's said, uh, yeah, my servants have made a mistake, no doubt, but still I'm the one that's punishable because I am responsible for whatever they do. Right. Sometimes we see in an ordinary society, children are misbehaving and it becomes a feature of their activities. We might think, we think, oh, what's wrong with their parents? Don't they discipline these children properly? We don't so much blame the child, we blame the parents for not taking responsibility for making sure the children grow up properly and act properly. So that's true in family. That's true with the guru disciple relationship or even society relationship. Also, if one has a good teacher in a particular subject, then they're more likely to learn the subject and become an expert at it, as opposed to someone else who teaches the same subject but is not as qualified. So leadership has a great responsibility. Prabhupada spoke a lot about leadership and he talked about the qualities of one in a position of leadership. Um, and they have to develop all good qualities. And the most important part of that is they have to be responsible for the uh, services that they are meant to carry out. 
Sometimes we see people take on responsibilities in certain service, and for whatever reason, we can't carry it out or don't carry it out. And that causes problems. So responsibility, and then Prabhupada said this, you make advancement in Krishna consciousness by how much you take on responsibility to push on this Krishna consciousness movement. So Prabhupada wanted to make this point clear that devotees should be responsible in their position, expert in their service, and also uh, develop the proper qualities that are of characteristic of a Vaishnava, which reflect the mode of goodness. And the positive side is that people will appreciate and also be attracted to Krishna consciousness. Maharaj, I think we just lost you. Thank you, sir. I think Maharaj got dropped off. No, Should we call to tell him? Maybe he doesn't know. Hare Krishna Shamagari Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Yes, Maharaj, welcome back. Hare Krishna. Yes, we can hear you now. Maharaj. Yeah. Soon we get fixed. Okay. Um, so. Has the Mataji, I'm having difficulty hearing. I'm not sure if others also have the same problem. Yeah, we're not able to hear. Maharaj, are you there? We are not able to hear you. Hare Krishna, I'm back again. Okay, this is good. Yes, Maharaj, we can hear you. Yeah. I don't know how much I can with my present situation. So maybe we can open it up to questions now. I think I made a few essential points centering around leadership. Um, what I do to be um, um, yes, thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Uh, we apologize for this 
internet connection. It was pure nectar. Thank you so much for reminding us the responsibility of leadership. Based on leadership. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Um, devotees, just read. Yes, Maharaj, we, we are able to hear you. Okay, Thank you. Let me, let me see what I can find. So I'll read some things about leadership here. Uh, these are statements by Srila Prabhupada on leadership. Hmm. Uh, the art of management. This is me, someone who's in the position of management. This is a statement by Prabhupada. Our leaders should be careful not to kill the spirit of enthusiastic service, which is individual and spontaneous and voluntary. They should try to always generate some atmosphere of fresh challenge to the devotees so they will agree enthusiastically to rise and meet it. This is the art of management, to draw out spontaneous loving spirit of sacrificing some energy for Krishna. All of us should become expert managers and preachers. Another statement by Prabhupada. Since you are now the leader, therefore Krishna is forcing you to become very responsible and an, and an advanced devotee. This is Krishna's special favor upon you. So now you must see that all boys and girls who come to the temple are given facility to perfect their lives in Krishna consciousness. And you must give them good advice and instruction. Another statement, it is a qualification of great thinkers to pick up the best even from the worst. It is said that the intelligent man should pick up nectar from a stock of poison, should accept gold even from a filthy place, should accept a good and qualified wife even from an obscure family, and should accept a good lesson even from a man or a teacher who comes from the untouchable. These are some of the ethical instructions for everyone in every place without exception. Just like in India, for higher technological knowledge, they come to foreign countries. So for knowledge, we can take it from anywhere. This should not be sectarianism. Oh, why should I take knowledge from here and there? Wherever knowledge is available, we should take it. That is the real position seeker of knowledge. Okay, these are some statements. I can read more. The Krishna conscious movement is for training devotees to be independently thoughtful and competent in all types of departments of knowledge and action. He said independently thoughtful and competent. That means they should use their intelligence how to carry out the moving Krishna consciousness. And they should be able to develop Maharaj, we are not Maharaj, would you mind repeating because we just lost you. So here's the universe. Parvati might naturally have inquired how the devotees become so exalted. Therefore, this verse explains that they are Narayan Para, simply dependent on Narayan. They do not mind reverses in life because in the service of the lion, they have learned to tolerate whatever hardships there may be. They do not care whether they are in heaven or hell. They simply engage in the service of the Lord. This is their excellence. 
So here these are some statements about leadership. Dishonest miscreants flourish because of cowardly and impotent executive heads of state. So Prabhupada is talking about the secular world. And you see, there's so many. Maharaj, we are not able to hear you. Are you able to hear us, Maharaj? We already must know that in any living entity, however significant, insignificant he be, even in an ant, God is present. And therefore, every living entity should be kindly treated and not subjected to any violence. Okay. So I'll, uh, I'll stop there. It's about a half hour. And uh, we can open open it up for discussion. We can talk about leadership. We can talk about responsibility. We can talk about um, roles we play in relationship to um, the different services we do. Okay. So we can move back into the gallery. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. There were times that we had lost you, but what the essence is very strongly presented. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Um, devotees, if you have any questions, as Maharaj said, with regards to leadership, with regards to responsibility, please go ahead and unmute yourself and you can ask the question. Hare Krishna, Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Um, I actually don't have a question, but I just um, wanted to say how much I appreciate you reminding us that as um, devotees and members of ISKCON that we have a responsibility to um, be good leaders and be representatives for our movement, because all of it, everything we do reflects upon Srila Prabhupada. And um, I know I'm I know that as devotees, we all love and revere Srila Prabhupada. And in, in honor of everything that he did for us, we never want to do anything to harm him or harm his movement. So I really, really appreciate that reminder. I think it's very important um, for all of us. So thank you, Maharaj. And thank you for the class. I'm sorry you were having technical dif difficulties, but it's wonderful just to hear you and, and to get to see you a little bit. So thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Tiffany. Yeah, I uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> I'm in a situation where the, the internet is quite weak. Right. Sometimes it's strong, sometimes it's Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my malabhisances, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you Maharaj. Uh, thank you so much Maharaj for speaking about leadership as we, we are, we go out, we actually represent ISKCON when people ask who are you, we say we are ISKCON devotees. Like that we represent ourselves as ISKCON 
So we have to be very careful how to behave and how to talk to people. As like, you know, Srila Prabhupada taught us, we should talk like that. Thank you very much, Maharaj, for your class. And you have so much difficulty, but still you join and you gave us a very nice, wonderful Nectarian class. Are you still in Mayapur, Maharaj? Yeah, I'm in Mayapur right now. Please pray for yeah. us, Maharaj. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to preach. To you. I'm trying to speak to you. If I can do that, that'll be good. That'll be my prayer. Anyway. <laughs> it's really hard here with that in Plato Stadium. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Dhanavat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, this is Kalaram Prasad Das. I had a question on uh, the, when Ajamil Pa is supposed to, um, you know, the chant the holy name and the Yamadutas came and Vishnu Dutas came, suppose I, I was just thinking, suppose Vishnu uh, Yamaduta did not come, that means he chanted the name of holy name and the, immediately the Vishnu Dutas came. And what will be his destiny? Because now he gave us given you a second chance. But uh, all this life, you know, he with the Nama Bas, whatever we understood everything oh, uh, so yeah, far. That's, that's described in it. Yeah, the second chance is that he, he uh, was giving an extension on his life for 12 years. He went to Hardwar, the holy place in the Himalayas. And for 12 years, he engaged in pure devotional service. And at the end of those 12 years, he perfected his life and went back to God. But this is exceptional, right? We cannot expect, I don't think anybody can expect like this. It's just an exceptional thing. Um, why do you say it's not possible for others? Uh, if it's possible, because it's in line with our philosophy. The point is that is being made is that the power of the holy name when chanted offenselessly, can destroy the reactions of all sinful activities that one could possibly commit for millions of life. So that that is the standard principle that we should all understand. And that's what this, this whole Leela is about, helping us understand the glories of the Holy Name and uh, the... Uh, And the position of uh, sinful activities and how powerful it is. Yes, Ajamil didn't, and he fell accidentally, but he didn't pick himself up and then he lived a life of the one she. But because of his early life in devotional service, he had, he had accumulated much highest credits and therefore he was able to name his son Narayan. So the, the message of this story is the glories of the holy name. And you'll see the explanations that are given throughout this section is all about the glories of the holy name. And that's the name of Narayan, what to speak of, the name of Krishna, which is the supreme name amongst all names. Yes, Maharaj. I had another reflection that Mahajan as Emaraj, he took a responsibility and he, he said it is his, his mistake. Um, I was thinking, 
I was thinking that you know, since he had, he was very humble. He was uh, that is the Mahajan's nature. He was able to say, at least it is my responsibility. But I don't know. Nowadays, uh, the leaders can say that it is his own responsibility or her own responsibility. They may not, right? I was just think thinking on that way, because uh, real Vaishnava, even though he is not mistake, he will take his responsibility on his own. But uh, nowadays, all the leaders will take it. I I am not sure. Well, Prabhupada gave us gave us the standard of what is the what is leadership, and uh, I just read a few statements. There's a, that's a that's a book which has eighty eight statements in it on leadership, and that's just a small part of what Prabhupada spoke on leadership because it's the foundation by which everything develops. When there's qualified leaders, everything moves nicely. Everything depends on leadership. That's why in our society, sometimes we're wondering why we can't move forward. It's based because we don't have the qualified leaders uh, in that particular area that we're trying to develop. So you have to understand how important leadership is. It, everything depends on leadership. Everything. Yes, Maharaj. Thank you. Everything. <laughs> it's that. It's that complete. Dhanvat Pranam Maharaj, this is Pradhanam from Las Vegas. The position, if one takes the position of a leader and cannot fulfill their obligations, they suffer more the reactions of their mistakes than a person who would make the same mistakes and is not in a position of leader. Because if a person is a misleader, then they are affecting the lives of others, so they have so you take on greater reactions to their misleadership than if someone who is not in the position of leadership acts in the same way. So a lot of times we see, even in our society, people are not enthusiastic to, cut, to take certain positions of leadership anymore. Uh, early in our movement, it was, it was a... It was like a gold rush. People were running for leadership positions. But then we learned it's not, it's not about that. It's about qualifying oneself. Position doesn't give you power. Position gives you the facility. Power has to come from your own Krishna consciousness. Thank you so much, Maharaj. What a wonderful explanation. Thank you, thank you. I heard there was a Prabhuji that was about to ask a question. Uh, Mataji, uh, my name is Praladanandas from uh, Las Yes, Vegas. oh, Prabhu, yes. And, uh, yeah, I do not have a question. I just uh, had a small reflection. Uh, 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 in our uh, ISKCON institution and uh, in teachings of uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, the most basic fundamental a quality of uh, devotee, I mean, a leader is, uh, he has said in uh, Ashtasiksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksaksa
this is the sentence I read, and you know, I was highly impressed by that. So this was, uh, you know, literally, in, uh, you know, I thought that, you know, he had already realized what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is <laughs> implying that in this is strategy. So this was a little reflection I had. Uh, thank yeah, you for allowing me to speak. Yeah, that's uh, reflection is in line with Vaishnav culture and Vaishnav behavior. Okay. Thank you. We should remember that because that verse, they're not a piece of Nietzsche, not, was given prominence by Lord Chaitanya. It's the most important verse in our practice of Krishna consciousness. Thank you, Maharaj. Scarlett Mataji, would you like to go ahead and ask a question? Uh, Hare Krishna, please accept my humble office. It says, All glories to Shira Prabhupada, all glories to you, Holiness, Chandra Moli, and all glories to all your devotees. Uh, I am not so, I have not been very long in this movement, but still, I already have experienced uh, such a power playing, a power abuse, maybe position abuse. I, I already have uh, experienced it. And when I read, I read uh, Ajabil yesterday, it's funny, it, I read it yesterday and today again. Uh, where I see that uh, Ajamil has been very good uh, Brahmana and have done so many good things, but then uh, afterwards he's done so many bad things. Uh, this history, this this uh, incident makes it, it feels like that. I'm so sorry to say that, but it feels like some of the leaders abuse this uh, history, this uh, uh, Shasta, the, the, the uh, saying in, in the Shasta, they abuse it, abuse it like, because I have done this, 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 I'm excused to do whatever I want. And you should just bow front of me. If not, then you are going to get bad karma of that. And so many people, they are very afraid. So many devotees, they are afraid. They don't say anything. They just uh, go and hide and say, don't say anything. I feel I'm a broken person who have find, finally have find the answer. And I am doing my best to hold me in that to really, really practice it, read it, uh, do my chanting and everything, and whatever I can do uh, as a devotee, uh, devotional service. But it doesn't make it easier for me that, uh, that the new person here to see such an abuse. It's, I don't know how, to, how can it continues when when the higher position in the movement can see know about it and don't do it okay 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 you make your point uh the point is in our iscon society we have a, a, a series a setup of retribution if there is some discrepancy on one level you go to the next level if there's that if that you can't satisfy your 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 problem on that level, you can go to the next level. So we have a process of what we say, what is that called? Due process, where if there's discrepancy for temple presidents, then you go to the local GBC. If the local GBC cannot handle it, then it goes to the national GBC. Um, of course, there are people in between that also may be able to rectify the situation. And so there is a process of redressing problems. If we don't, if we just complain or hide, 
then then we're we're just ignorant. We if there's something seriously wrong with the leadership. I mean, I've been privy to so many situations where the leaders were forced to step down or they were forced to to rectify their behavior and continue in their in your in their process. Prabhupada's program for rectification is not to remove people, but to correct people. Prabhupada never liked the idea of just changing leaderships because he says this doesn't solve the problem. But if someone is is not acting properly or misbehaving or causing not following the principles of proper rules and regulations and leadership, then um, there should be uh, a, uh, you know, just like in some places they have the National Council or they have a board of directors that oversees the president's activities. All of these is areas of redress. And if the problem becomes, gets to that point where there needs to be some change, we should use this system. If we don't use the system and we just complain, then uh, what happens? Nothing. So yeah, everyone, every person is responsible. Even the GBC has a Shastric uh, committee, which reviews a lot of the GBC's decisions based on Shastra. So they have their own arms to um, also to monitor their decisions based on Srila Prabhupada's instructions and his and uh, his books, along with the precedents from previous cases on how to deal with things. So don't complain and then don't do anything. <laughs> If you if if you don't want to if you don't want to do anything, then don't complain. <laughs> I am new in this. I don't know who to go because when I ask who is the, uh, hire this uh, than this person, can I uh, contact this person? Nobody knows. So how could I? I I'm new, so I'm I'm looking for it. <laughs> I promise. Not it's not that I'm complaining. Not I try to do. It's not true that nobody knows. That's not true. Not true that nobody knows. Because you're just looking at it in a myopic way, a very limited way. You have to see that beyond the local area, there is, we have, you have the local, you have the national, and you have the international, you have different systems. We have had this problem ever since our movement started dealing with misleaders in our society, and there have been ways to deal with them. We're dealing with that all the time, even right now. So don't say there is no way to do with it or nobody knows. That's not true. Maybe I, you don't know. But all you have to do is try to find out. If you ask the right persons, you'll get your answers. So we just start this little uh, dialogue of complaining about a leader, and then all we do is complain. Nothing changes, and we become more more despondent, more morose, because our complaining just brings us down. I promise I'm going to do my best to find the answer. I promise. I'm not the person who's just talking. I will do it. I, I promise. Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you for understanding. Thank you, Skalik Masjid. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you always for inspiring us and giving us hope and leading us, Maharaj. I really mean it from the bottom of my heart. Um, 
Krishna, Krishna Mataji, would you like to go ahead with your question, please? Yes, Mataji, Hare Krishna Maharaj. Um, I want to say thank you for enlightening us of what a true leader is and what their qualities are. But I have a question. Where do you draw the line between leadership and control, like being in controllership? Um, even in daily life, like being a mother, I'm a mother of three kids, and I sometimes feel like I'm trying to lead them by example um, and doing as much as I can, but with just being overwhelmed with so many things, sometimes I feel like I, I try to control them, do this at this time, do this at this time. So how can I uh, draw the line between being a leader versus being that controllership? Well, as a leader, you have the responsibility to control. But you're controlling for a higher principle, for a higher goal. So this control thing is not wrong. If you're controlling for your own sense gratification, that is, that is material and that will, won't really help you in your position as a mother. So you have to, some mothers, the gurus, the teachers, they have, they're responsible to control their disciples. But in a way that the disciples, the teachers, the children, or the students can actually grow. Not control for the sake of control, but this control and for the sake of uplifting people. Control is there. And Prabhupada says, we all have responsibilities to control on a certain level. But if we're trying to control in order to enjoy, that's material. And that's not Krishna consciousness. Thank you, Ma uh, Prabhu Maharaj. Um, I want to say that that answer really enlightens me because I like that for the higher purpose of um, that control leadership is beneficial. And I think that way the kids will also understand way better than when you are trying for your own sense gratification. Thank you, Maharaj. I really appreciate it. Good. Thank you for the most important question. Mm -hmm. Maharaj, there were some comments. Um, on the chat that and there were some devotees that were offering their humble obeisances at your lotus feet one is mr um, um prabhu ayan shah prabhu and then we had bhagavati harini mataji expressing her um heartfelt gratitude to you and also indulekha mataji she was very Happy to hear your profound statements on leadership, Maharaj. And then also we have Rinda Gopika Mataji. She's offering her obeisances at your lotus feet. Um, Mataji says what? Uh, no, no, that's about it, Maharaj. If any devotees have questions, please feel free to unmute yourself. Maharaj is here with us. It's a golden opportunity. Go ahead and ask your questions. Scarlett Mataji, do you have another question? Yes, please. I wonder yes, if I can uh, know about the book. Uh, your Holiness uh, read about the uh, leadership. This book, can I buy this book no. from somewhere? No, I'll just send it to, uh, I'll send it to maybe... Nina, do I have your address? My address? Your email. Um, your email. My email. Okay, I, can, I can email it to you or maybe Sham Guri Mataji. Yeah, or... Yes, just, um, well, I can, uh, maybe I'll send it to Sham Guri. Yeah, so I'll I send can... this book to Sham Guri. And Shamagori can make her email address known to everyone. And then they can just write her and she'll send the book if she agrees to that. Thank you. Yes, Maharaj. 
Thank you. We will do that. Yeah. yeah this book is not for sale. It's for it's general information that be, should be distributed here. So I'll send it to you. I think um, I have your husband's email, but I don't have your email. <laughs> I will send it to you, Marge. Just put it on the chat right now. Yes. That way everyone can see it now. And then everyone knows where to write. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you so much for this wonderful session. Uh, very, very important, actually. Just give me, give me a minute to call. Sure, Maharaj, thank you so much. Uh, can, you, can you keep posted uh, Jamagori's email? Yeah, we have Shamagari Mataji's email. I've also sent out mine. So if anybody has anything, you can email me. I can send it to Shamagari Mataji or you can write to her directly, whatever is easy. Can you, can you put Shamagari's email back on the chat so I can see it? Yeah, it is here. Sure. Maybe I'm not, I'm too stupid to figure out how to do it here. Yeah. But once it was up, I started to copy it, and then it got cut off. Oh, hey, yeah. I, I just posted it again, Maraj. Okay. Oops, it came off again. I still haven't copied it completely. You want me to read it to you, Maharaj? We can read it to you. I, I will send you in WhatsApp. Maharaj. Oh, there you go. Uh, put it back one more time if I got it. But everyone else has to copy it too. So okay. They can... yeah. yeah. Tiffany yeah. Mataji just send it. Hmm. Thank you, Tiffany Mataji. S O N A L K H A M O R E at yahoo.co.in. Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Maharaj, you were right. That's right, yeah. Let me see. I have to go to the chat here and see it there. Okay. okay. So the will just go on to the chat. You can get the email. If you want the book, you can write. Okay. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. No further questions, then we will end the call. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Dhanwad Pranam. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Thank you, 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 Thank you,